You go after the wrong people, Batman. Poison Ivy. Only you would identify yourself with Demeter, the Greek goddess of plants. Hey, a high school graduate. Don't even think about it. Unusual trees. Subtropica Brasilius. As rare as winter roses, Batman. I tap their sap for my growth enzyme, which you see here in its purified, most concentrated form. The secret of eternal youth. <laughs> But you haven't seen my most intriguing trees. Actually, Batman, you and I are surprisingly alike. We both strive to see evildoers punished. But while you have your gallery of rogues, I have my grove. This can't be. This dog of a dogwood leveled enough trees to shade a small state. Mm. And weep not for this willow. She slaughtered an ancient forest to produce cardboard. Cardboard! Of course, I still owe Bruce Wayne for his involvement with that slash and burn outfit. But for now, I'm content to settle for his friends. Right now, the bark is merely exoskeletal. It will take months of additional spraying before the transformations become irreversible. But, of course, I have the patience of a redwood. And the convictions of a fanatic. Well, if you're not going to be part of the solution, you're obviously part of the problem. Ladies? <laughs> Strength, Batman. It will start the transformation without any preliminaries. He should be sprouting leaves by now. You made your secret too accessible, Ivy. I coated my outfit with an herbicidal antidote. Keep spraying! Justice, yes, but not the vengeance of an echo terrorist. You're as destructive as those you punish. Look what you've made me do to my poor defenseless tree!
Alfie, do you realize that this is the second place we've been together in as many weeks? This relationship is branching out. Please, Maggie. After our encounter with Joan of Bark, the last thing I want to be reminded of is trees. Hey, good news. I just heard all of Poison Ivy's victims are expected to recover. Bruce, please. The plant. Must you? Oh. Maybe I'd better leave this outside. Nice man. But sometimes not too bright.